There's been a Trump foundation since 1988. It's closely linked to the man who set it up, Donald Trump. But it's been years since he pumped any money into the family fund. It survives on donations from outsiders. But now the foundation has been told it has to stop. In a cease and desist order, the Attorney General's Office of New York says it isn't properly registered and that the Trump Foundation must immediately cease soliciting contributions or engaging in other fundraising activities in New York. The foundation also has 15 days to hand over all documentation on its operations. The foundation has again called the investigation politically motivated, but when he announced the inquiry, New York's Attorney General, a Democrat, said he had to act. It would be incredibly unusual if there were allegations of impropriety by a nonprofit, and we didn't investigate. It's another difficulty in what has been a bad week for Donald Trump, from a badly received debate performance to a newspaper report about how a $916 million business loss may have allowed him to legally avoid paying taxes for 18 years. That was a story his opponent wasn't going to allow to pass. All the while, he was using his political connections to collect hundreds of millions of dollars in government subsidies and extra tax breaks for his companies. In other words, Trump was taking from America with both hands and leaving the rest of us with the bill. Every day Donald Trump spends on the campaign trail defending himself, his taxes and his charity is one day less he can get his message across. Thank you, and every everybody. day Thank you. the election is getting closer. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington. Thank you.